In this video, we're going to discuss all things healing. So we're going to talk about health bars. We're going to talk about the heal zone. We're going to talk about heal potions. And we'll even cover stamina because it's pretty close. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I've got some volunteers here that are anxiously awaiting their chance at the big screen. So let's just get them... Uh, their shot at their 15 minutes of fame. This guy's going to come and munch on me. Just let him take a little bite. Uh, yummy, uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, uh, I'm going to let him take a little bit more because, uh, hey. Hear that? He's, <laughs> there, uh, a little bit more. I want to really show that health uh, bar going down. Okay. Your time is up. All right, so now I've been injured. And I have a couple of different options for healing. First, we'll talk about the healing potion or pol poultice or whatever you want to call it, right? There's a healing potion here. I've got it set to where I just walk up to it and I automatically pick it up and it's going to give me back some health. Huh? There we go. Health applied. So give me back a little bit of health. It didn't fill me up all the way. Um, so I could go over here and try this. This is a bottled item, which I noticed is very similar in a lot of ways. And we'll cover the differences, but it's very similar to a healing potion. In this case, I've got it set up to be, you know, to pick it up to consume it, but it heals you or it deducts health or whatever else you want it to do. Again, we'll go over it, but for this demonstration, it's going to heal me. So I'm going to consume the gym beam and that's going to heal me up to full. So now we need another volunteer. Let's check huh? this guy out. That's enough. All right. So he healed me. He, he hit me pretty good. He shot me in the face a couple times. I'm uh, below half health. So I'm going to walk into this heal zone and just, uh, just get healed up to full. There we go. So that just uh, gave me 100 health every second until I reached maximum. Okay. So that's the, the healing effects that we have available. We also have stamina. So I've got a stamina bar, which basically works the same way. And we'll cover how I set that up in a second. Uh, but if I just run, I'm just going to run around. I'm losing some stamina here. And now I'm just going to go and consume that bread. And that gave me back a little bit of stamina. Of course, my stamina uh, re uh, return is, is pretty high, so I really didn't need it. But... Um, it basically works the st same way as the health. It's just re restoring stamina instead of health. All right. So let's take a look at each one of those and see how they work. So we'll start with, uh, we'll start with our health potion. So again, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be this object, be any object that you want to act as your health potion. Um, and we have a prompt text, which is eat a pick, uh, eat a consume rather. And then we have uh, prompt if collectible. So, you can make this a collectible object. And in case you're not sure how to do that, you would go into the general and check the box that says is collectible, but you're not done yet. You check that box, but you'll notice that the collectible settings have opened. So we want to open that and create a collect collection object. You got to give it a name, health potion, um, and then give it its properties and so on. Um, and then that'll make it as a, a health potion. And if that's the case, a collectible health potion, I should say. And if that's the case, then instead of E to consume, it'll be E to collect. Um, then you have the usage text, which is what it's going to say once you've used the object. Um, so uh, the quantity is how much of whatever stat you're getting back is uh, is going to be reapplied and i say whatever stat because technically this doesn't have to be a health potion it could be it could also be a stamina potion or it could be you know a mana potion or it could be just any number of things any stat or uh, user global that you have it can apply to so it's very versatile just because it says heal doesn't mean it's strictly heal uh, then we have the pickup range which is how close do you have to be in order to interact with the object we have the pickup style, which is either manual, so you get the prompt and you have to press E to collect it, or you get uh, automatic, meaning you're within range and you just pick it up automatically. Uh, we have the effect. So a heal potion can heal you, can bring back you know, the quantity of health or whatever it is you're restoring, or it could deduct. So it could be maybe a rancid healing potion, and, and you take that and it, it deducts health instead of... Uh, 
instead of apply health. So lots of different options there. The user global affected is just which global is it going to apply to? By default, it says my health. You can change this if you have a different global you want to apply to instead, or if you want to go and make your own, and we'll, we'll cover that here later on. Uh, you can put that here and it'll affect that global instead. Uh, then we have the prompt display. So that's just going to tell you like where is that uh, prompt going to be displayed on your screen. And this honestly, there's not a lot of difference. Play around with the two, see which one you like better. This is going to put it directly at the bottom center of your screen. And this is going to be local to the object. So it just uh, kind of depends on, on what you prefer. Uh, item highlight. This is kind of a, a newer feature you're going to see in a lot of different uh, behavior or yeah, a lot of different behaviors. And I'm going to cover this separately in a separate video to show you just how this works. But suffice it to say now that you can play with the, uh, the emissive color. So that's in materials. And you can play with the emissive color. And then when you cursor over it, like in a dark room, it'll give it a little highlight or a little glow effect so you can kind of see it if it's hard to see otherwise. Uh, again, I'll cover that in a separate video because I think it's a separate topic. Um, and then uh, we have some audio thoughts here. Uh, zero is to uh, the U sound. When I consume it, what, is it, what, how, what does it sound like? And then uh, one is for when I collect it, what does it sound like? So maybe there's a little bleep or something like that that you want it to play. So that's the health behavior. Then we have I, uh, bottled item. Um, so bottled item, like I said, is very similar. I'm just going to go through this very quickly and point out the difference because it's we just covered a lot of this already. Prompt text, quantity, pickup range, uh, effect, add or deduct, uh, which global it affects. Um, all of those things are precisely what I just covered. Then we have poisoning effect. So this is it's an interesting effect. I, I think it's best demonstrated if you go back and you look at the food video and I'll leave a link right there for that video. I, I, I demonstrate the poisoning effect, but basically it's, it's proportional to the amount of, uh, the quantity that you're returning. And if you want it to poison that it can do that and you get a little like kind of screen wobble with it. Um, it's, it's really neat. Check out the food, uh, behavior and you'll see what I'm talking about. Cause I think it's, it's easier to demonstrate with that. Then you have the prompt display, which again is the same, just where is it gonna display the prompt? The highlighting uh, we covered, and then with the sound, we have uh, zero for when it's consumed, and uh, one is for when it's poisoned. So if you have this checkbox ticked, then and you wanna apply a sound uh, for when the person is poisoned, you can do that as well, okay? All right, uh, see, stamina is very much the same. Uh, we're just gonna go over it really quickly. Uh, prompt text, prompt if collected, so similar to health in that way. We have the usage text, the quantity, how much is it returning, the pickup range, how close do you need to be, pickup style, which is uh, either manual or automatic. We have the effect, add or deduct, so all very much the same as what we've just covered. That's why I've kind of grouped these together because they're really very similar. Um, and you'll see here that the usual global affected is my stamina max. So it's it's really um, reapplying to your max stamina. Uh, you can also, I mean, you can use this very similar. You can make this a health uh, thing if you want to. Uh, but it, it just, you know, if you wanted a distinction, if you want a, a stamina potion, a mana potion and a health potion, you could use, uh, this, these same behaviors and just variate, you know, the difference, uh, the different stats. Then you have, uh, where it's located, the prompt text, the highlighting, um, and then the sounds and the sounds, I always go back up here to review the sounds. So the sound zero is for when you use it and sound one is for when you collect it. Okay. So that's all the collectible stat re, uh, regenerating or deducting behaviors. I don't know what to call those exactly, but they're all very similar. Then you have this, which is quite a, quite a bit different. This is the heal zone. So here, obviously, it's a zone behavior. We're applying it to a zone. I just put this, the, uh, this green bubble there just to kind of give it a visual. 
And then uh, we only have a few parameters to talk about here. We have the amount, which is how much health is it going to be restoring? And you'll notice that this is not optional. We can't, you know, apply mana or apply stamina. Maybe I'll talk to Necrom and see about, uh, you know, changing this so that you can apply any global. But for right now, as of this video, it's just for healing. Uh, so this is how much health you're getting back. The timing is how quickly are you getting it back? I was doing it once every second. Um, that might be too fast for you. It just depends. And then we have the zone height, which is how far above the zone can you be and it still affect you? So if this was on the first floor and you're on the second floor, that's 100 units away. So you wouldn't be affected by it if it's if it's below you. Um, then we have the spawn at start. If this is ticked, that means it's automatically on and you walk into it and it works. If it's not ticked, then you have to activate it somehow with maybe another trigger or switch or something like that. Then you have heal only once. So if you tick that box, I want to show you what that uh, that does. I'm just gonna get shot real quick. Uh, let's see, here's our volunteer. He didn't get a lot of time, so go ahead and shoot me. Oh, you gotta reload first. <coughs> see, that was very nice of you, thank you. All right, that's heal only once. Walk in there, and guess what? He healed me only once. <laughs> so that's all that does is just, it applies this amount, but it only applies at one time rather than every second. Um, and then of course, this, the trigger sound, it was just the default sound with the, the zone. Uh, but you could also put your own sound in there if you prefer. All right. And then the only other thing we need to cover, and this was by request, was uh, the actual health bars, how I set those up. So let's go take a look at that. Yes, I want to save. And so first things first, I want to point out that I apply, I added the RPG screens. And the reason I did that is because the stamina bar did not work until the, uh, the stamina was initialized. And the way it got initialized was with this screen. So even if you're not using this screen or if you don't want to use this screen, you have to initialize it somehow. Uh, but this just happened to already have uh, dexterity, which is the same as stamina. And so by virtue of having it there, it initialized that uh, stat and that was uh, what allowed that to work health is by default initialized so you don't have to do that um, all right and then we have our main hud screen so the bar right here i just use the default bars you can use whatever you want you can use any two images you want so here you can see the grayer image is depleted and the the brighter image is when it's fuller um, and that is called a user defined global status bar so if you just click that drags it in there. You can change that image to whatever you want to put it wherever you'd like. Um, and this right here is really the, the thing that you need to know about. So it wants to know what are the user user defined global names that it should be uh, referencing. And that is essentially a ratio. So when we talk about health, for example, we're saying the maximum health uh, is the denominator and health remaining is the, uh, um, numerator. <laughs> I know the words. Okay. So obviously the health remaining is the numerator. The maximum health is the denominator. So it's a ratio. How much health remaining over maximum health do you have? And the same thing would be with stamina. We have my stamina over my stamina max. Um, but that's it. That's everything you need to know about health bars and health potions and health bottled items and health zones and everything else you need to make yourself an RPG style game. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, please be sure to click the like button down below. That helps me out a lot. If you're new here, if you just haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to click the subscribe button. And lastly, if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos are posted, just click the bell icon and that'll notify you whenever new videos are uh, ready for you to view. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget, there's a written guide for every behavior, including ones I haven't yet uh, covered on this channel. And if you want to learn some more, why don't you check out this video next?